The project at the World Affairs Council right now is um, from five different uh, trips I took over the past three years in four countries, so Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, and Ghana. And I was interested in looking at uh, communities that were living on the water. Um, and it wasn't until my most recent trips that I actually was planning this exhibit um, that I sort of recognized my own interest in these uh, fishing communities. Um, and part of it was just noticing what I was photographing, that I'm interested in the water and the reflections. And I also wonder about the lives of people growing up in floating houses on the water and how is it different from my own life and what does it feel like to always be moving and you know in the water and touching the water and smelling the fish and the sounds of the birds and it just is so different from my own reality in, uh, in America and in an urban setting. So the photographs themselves sort of represent um, an opportunity for people here in America just to see you know what is life like there, what kind of challenges do people face um, in the 21st century now that development is so rapid and tourism is changing the way people see things and their realities. In Vietnam, for example, um, contrasting these fishermen in these tiny little boats that are you know, hand carved out of wood um, and then right next to it you see this big industrial ship and so how do these fishermen that have you know used the same fishing techniques for generations and centuries how do they compete with the industrial um, fishing practices and factories so it's becoming harder for um, these communities that have lived their lives the same way over time to compete with the development that is rapidly happening around them. I think in some cases certainly people are leaving their villages because they're, you know, they think there's more opportunity in the cities and so you have a whole younger generation and culture that is going to choose consciously to leave that fishing community for something that um, they think will provide more for their families um, and I think that then changes it and then you also have a generation that chooses to stay and you know follow in their families um, traditions. Whenever I travel wherever I go whether it's a city or a rural village um, I take my camera and I photograph um, so it's not until later when I'm kind of looking at the images together that I really start to think about you know what they look what, what they are visually and the meaning they have and the impact they may have. This venue offered me an opportunity to meet people that I've never met before. You know, you have a built-in audience, um, your membership at the World Affairs Council, and I felt really um, grateful and fortunate to have an opportunity to present here and get feedback from people that are outside of my own artistic community. Um, so it was really wonderful to have people pull me aside and take me to a certain photograph and tell me what their impressions of it was, or, you know, for the most part, people tended to take me to their favorite image and tell me why they liked it, and that was really great. I really enjoyed that.